And we load and open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us. Neither will he keep his anger forever. <clears throat> he has not dealt with us according to our sins. Nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth. So great is his mercy. Upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west. So far has he set our sins from us, as a father has compassion on his children. So is the Lord merciful toward those who fear him, for he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust, our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him. And his righteousness on children's children on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, <coughs> is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 82 Arise, O God, and judge the earth. <clears throat> God has taken his stand in the council of heaven. In the midst of the gods he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly? And show, favor, so show such favour to the wicked. You were to judge the weak and the orphan. Defend the right of the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. Arise, O God, and judge the earth. They have no knowledge of or wisdom. They walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Therefore I say that though you are the gods, and all of you children of the Most High, nevertheless you shall die like mortals, and fall like one of their princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth. For it is you that shall take all nations for your possession. 
Arise, O God, and judge the earth. God, our deliverer, when the foundations are shaken and justice has departed, defend the poor and needy, and yet give your people strength to fight all wrong. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 80 Hear, O Shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your mighty strength, and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours. And our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You made a room around it. And when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off. <coughs> and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted. And the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand. The son of man you made so strong for yourself, and so we will not go back from you. Give us life, and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Faithful shepherd of your people, as we look for the light of your countenance, restore in us the image of your glory, and graft us into the risen life of your Son. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges, chapter 13, verses 1 to 24. The Israelites again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord gave them into the land and into the hand of the Philistines for forty years. There was a certain man of Zorah, of the tribe of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren, having borne no children, 
And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Although you were barren, having borne no children, you shall conceive and bear a son. Now be careful not to drink wine or strong drink, or to eat anything unclean, for you shall conceive and bear a son. No razor is to come on his head, for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth. It is he who shall begin to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, A man of God came to me, and, in, and his appearance was like that of an angel of God, most awe-inspiring. I did not ask him where he came from, and he did not tell me his name. But he said to me, You shall conceive and bear a son. So then, drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean, for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God, from birth to the day of his death. Then Manoah entreated the Lord, and said, O Lord, I pray, let the man of God whom you sent come to us again, and teach us what we are to do concerning the boy who will be born. God listened to Manoah, and the angel of God came again and to the woman as she sat in the field. But her husband, Manoah, was not with her. So the woman ran quickly and told her husband, The man who came to me the other, the other day has appeared to me. Manoah got up, followed his wife, and came to the man and said to him, Are you the man who spoke to this woman? And he said, I am. Then Manoah said, now, when your words come true, what is to be the boy's rule of life? What is he to do? The angel of the Lord said to Manoah, Let the woman give heed to all that I said to her. She may not eat anything that comes from the vine. She is not to drink wine or strong drink, or eat anything unclean. She is to observe everything I commanded her. Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, Allow us to detain you and prepare a kid for you. The angel of the Lord said to Manoah, If you detain me, I will not eat your food, but if you want to prepare a burnt offering, then offer it to the Lord. For, Noah, for Manoah did not know that he was the angel of the Lord. Then Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, What is your name, so that we may honour you when your words come true? But the angel of the Lord said to him, Why do you ask my name? It is too wonderful. So Manoah took the kid with the grain offering and offered it unto the rock, to the Lord, to him who works wonders. When the flame went upward towards heaven from the altar, the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar, while Manoah and his wife looked on and they fell on their faces to the ground. The angel of the Lord did not appear again to Manoah and his wife. Then Manoah realised that it was the angel of the Lord. And Manoah said to his wife, We shall surely die, for we have seen God. But his wife said to him, If the Lord, if the Lord had meant to kill us, he would not have accepted a burnt offering and a grain offering at our hands, or shown us all these things, or now announced to us such things as these. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew and the Lord blessed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the earth shout and sing for joy. The great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, there is my salvation. <clears throat> Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, 
Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. A reading from the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 20 to the end. Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed. Nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there it is. For in fact, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to the disciples, The days are coming when you, will, when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. They will say to you, Look there, or look here. Do not go, do not set off in pursuit. But as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must endure much suffering and be rejected by this generation, just as it was in the days of Noah, so too it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying, and being given in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed all of them. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, built, planting and building. But, the, but on the day that Lot left Sodom, it rained fire and sulphur from heaven and destroyed all of them. It will be like that on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, anyone on the housetop who has belongings in the house must not come down to take them away. And likewise... Anyone in the field must not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Those who try to make their life secure will lose it. But those who lose their life will keep it. I tell you, on that night there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding grinding meal together, one will be taken and the other left. Then they asked him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. Born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for your world, for all the countries and for all believers within them. That will hold them and keep them steadfast in the faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear. Heavenly Father, we pray for all leaders and people in power, that you will open their eyes and ears to hear, and see the beauty of all around us, and the magnificence of your law. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear. Heavenly Father, we pray for people's occupations, so that should be such that people would keep occupied to stay out of trouble and to find fulfilment, but not at the expense of your perfect grace and your perfect peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Have mercy on those who believe and trust in you, O Lord. Grant them wisdom and clarity of mind. And guide us on our journey so that we may not be distracted by the flaming arrows but to walk steadily onwards to the promise of abundant life and towards your promised land. You are merciful. You are forgiving. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, with that, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour's daughter. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.